Hey guys, I'm Malik here today and welcome back to Cities Skyline. So I recorded the last however many episodes uh, all in one sitting before I went away. I'm back now and I totally forgot, apparently according to the comments, I don't even remember this, but apparently I forgot to put in a prison because I said I was going to and I didn't. Uh, but now that I'm back and I have read those comments, I will. I did actually do a very short live stream of it um, the other day when I was super jet lagged uh, and nothing really came out of it because I kind of messed up the city a little bit. Uh, but in that, I decided that I wanted to put the prison up here and it was going to be awesome. So that's what we're going to try and do now. Instead, uh, I didn't end up using the save game from that because I, I kind of broke pretty much the entire city in it. Because uh, what happened was uh, I originally, we, we moved the sort of prison up here and I built the prison and then I decided let's put some like canals around it because the Twitch chat was like, hey, put some canals around it, get like a moat going. Uh, and I tried to fill it with water, and then the water spilled down there, and then I was like, okay, let me reset water to sea level. And then all the rivers were empty, and it was taking forever to refill, and then that dam stopped working. And obviously that water pumped there, so then half the city didn't have power. And it was a whole thing that would have been way too annoying to work around. So I thought, you know what, let's just redo the prison instead, because that's going to be easier. So I'm just going to give myself a little bit more room to work up here. Uh, so what we're going to do... We're going to build the road for the prison first, which will just be somewhere around here-ish. Uh, and then we'll sort of figure it out from there. So we want to go to prison. Uh, that should be okay. I probably could have moved it further forward, actually. That was probably a little too far back. Maybe about there would be better. So we're going to go prison about there. That looks pretty good to me. Let's get rid of those. Now what we've got to try and do is I think what I'll, I'll do a multi-layer. Oh, actually... I want that road back again. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I keep destroying. I'm going to use these dirt roads uh, around the prison. Because I think they look pretty cool. And I think I think it suits it. You know, just have a little uh, sort of dirt track around the prison. We're going to get that about there. That looks good. I think what we'll do, we'll go, we'll actually put a road. Because initially I didn't put a road all the way around the prison. Um, and I just had the canals straight up against it. But because the canals weren't, you know, 100% even, it didn't look, you know, fantastic. But I think this might help us out a little bit. So what we'll do... Uh, if I turn off snapping, can I... Yeah. See, I can't seem to... See, ideally I want it to be right in the middle, right? Maybe if we get rid of those... Uh, let me turn snapping back on. Hang on. And turn that back on. Because, uh, yeah, the, the exact middle segment there doesn't quite line up. So what we'll do... Go like that. We'll try and build this middle segment now. Okay, can that tree get out of my way? <laughs> that tree is like right in my, my eye line there. That looks as close to the center as I'm going to get it. I'm going to try and line it up with the existing grid. That looks pretty parallel. Uh, these roads obviously go out a little bit, but then we basically just means we get that exact sort of middle point. And I think that little sort of bump out looks okay. And what happens if we use like this road here? Also, that's no longer going out at a 90 degree angle. Ah, I have to do it again myself, which is fine, but it's kind of annoying. Uh, let me just turn off segment snapping so we can get it really, really close. About there. Let's try and get this as parallel as possible. About there. Uh, I might replace those two bits with... Let me turn snapping back on with uh, sort of just paving. So it sort of joins the prison bit there. And then it has like dirt all the way around. Which I think should look okay. Uh, so then this road essentially will... Right now it won't place. But we'll, we'll use Anarchy to place it. We'll have the road going out there. And it will look beautiful. And it will function without a problem. I'm sure of it. Now we've got to try and get a... Uh, canal down here. Which, thankfully, because we built a road there, it kind of snaps to a grid. So we can actually get it pretty close. Actually, can I do it if I go... So I want it to be a little bit closer than that. If I go like that, can I... Oh, I can anarchy it. Okay, well, that looks stupid. But I will anarchy it. Uh, but just not like that. So maybe if I get it right along it. Because I, I basically want it looking as sharp as it possibly can, you know? Uh, so snapping on. Okay, let's just build those out so we can get the right segment. Uh, so then this needs to go... Hmm. Okay, well, first of all, why is that not snapping? I've got snapping on on both of these things. There we go. Yeah, sure. That'll go there for now. That's fine. Um, but I do actually need to turn that off. Okay, so we're going to go... Just touch the tip of that. It's going to come straight in. See, yeah, it's going to snap to that point. Which I guess is probably better than in that case if we just... Where? I don't even know where that point is. Uh, Alright, snapping. 
I guess we'll just snap it all the way around then. It's probably the easier way to do it instead of trying to anarchy it. Right, so let's get rid of all, obviously get rid of the excess parts there. Uh, so this is not going to be a moat. This is going to be... Uh, now, I need to make sure that... See, that's not going to join at the same angle. Uh, this is going to be... Just like a ditch going around the prison. Uh, which currently does not look very good because it's not as flat as I once thought it was. Alright. I'm going to go back around this way. I'm going to get rid of all of that that I just did. And I apologize for wasting your time. But I want it to be flat because that looked awful. Uh, I guess because it's probably clipping some of the edges. So if we just give it some more room. It's alright. Okay. So that should allow... That's not what I wanted. That should hopefully allow me to get a little bit better going on here. So if we go... I'm just going to go all the way out there. This will also go all the way out there. And then I want to go to the point where it sort of just goes past that. Okay, or not. Because this is being annoying. Okay, you go away. We'll build it this way. So that's com coming across at 90 degrees. And then hopefully that will intersect there. We can get rid of that, get rid of that. And hopefully that's looking much nicer. It is. Okay. So now this is... A, I would fill that with water, but... As I said, I kind of had a mishap when I did it last time, so I don't want to try it. I don't want to try it again. Um, so we're just going to leave it as a ditch. So basically, the prison has a fence with watchtowers that even if the prisoners manage to get over that fence and then over that fence, they have to get through a ditch. They have to go down the ditch, up the other side of the ditch, and then they're on top of a giant plateau. Uh, so it's going to be pretty hard to get out if you were trying to escape from this prison. So I think we've got a pretty good, <laughs> pretty good security system going on now. Obviously, of course, we will have a bridge coming out of it right here, which we shall build. I wonder if I... See, last time we got rid of that, I kind of messed it up. But you know what? I don't care. I'm going to get rid of that. I don't want that there. Because if we get rid of that, we can just build this normally without having to use anarchy. Uh, so we go like that. That will be our bridge. So basically, uh, we'll obviously get, you know, if this was real life, we'd have people guarding the bridge. That's the only way to cross that area without... You know, going in the ditch. So, I think, realistically, we would probably have guards there. So, I think we'll be fine. Let's just pretend there's guards. Uh, all right, turn snapping back on. Thank you. Do I want a curved bridge? Sure, why not? So, this is how I did it during the live stream. We just sort of came around here. Uh, just using this sort of um, little highway road. Uh, that's going to come down like that. Then it comes all the way down. And then it just actually... Joined up to that intersection there. So then that connects that to the rest of the city. Of course, we need to give it power and water. Water, I'm just going to go like that. It is too steep. Is there a way? Hmm. This could be this, this could be an issue. Well, oh, we can do that apparently. So let's do that. That's fine. All right. Somehow we're going to be able to pump water up there. I don't know how we're doing that, but we are. And power, again, is not going to look particularly great, unfortunately, but... Uh, also we've got a road all the way around there, so that's also not easy to get to. I guess I have to come this way, don't I? I'm gonna go power. And then power can go that. And then... Really, the slope is too steep for power lines. Don't think I've ever had a slope too steep that for power lines before. So that's a new one to me. Right, that'll go there. What train line is that? Where? I don't even know where in the... Oh, okay. I was like... I was so confused to where in the city I was for some reason. But anyway, that should have power and water. And that should hopefully start functioning. Let's make sure. Yeah, so the vans are actually leaving. Uh, so we know that it is actually connected to the road properly. So that's good. So uh, once they get off that little bit, over that little bridge and go over this one, they can go full speed and like floor it all the way down there. So there is our beautiful prison uh, on top of this plateau, which would be, I think, fairly hard to escape from. So I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I did consider putting it in the water somewhere, but we don't really have any good islands or anything, anywhere to put it. We could have put it here, but at the same time, it's like, what's the point? They could, that's not, it's just a little bit of a river. You'd probably escape that. No problem. I also still don't know why we have a billion and a half cargo ships in this city, but we do. So, you know, let, you know what? Let's just deal with that. Let's just take one problem at a time. And you know what? The cargo ships are not a problem because everything is still functioning fine. We do have a lot of residential and commercial demand. Uh, but one thing that I'm very happy with in this city is the fact that... Um, uh, whoops. Uh, wrong thing. Uh, that's what I want to do. You can't see it, but I've got like a little FPS overlay. I was just moving it out of my way because it was up there. Uh, right. Now, one thing I'm very happy with in the city is the traffic is somehow actually pretty good. Obviously, there are a few hotspots in this city. 
like around there. But even still, it doesn't back up forever. There's a little bit, that's just a heavy traffic area. Similar, uh, similarly with this area here, it's a little bit of heavy traffic, but that's about it. Then we have a little bit here around the interchange, but that is really about it. And then the rest of the city is pretty damn good. Uh, we always had that heavy traffic area there, but we don't have any huge jams, which is good. Uh, I don't know how I managed that, but I somehow did. Uh, but I think what we'll do... Do I want to expand this island? Not really. I think I want to build down here. Um, and so we'll build off of this road by the airport. This is probably going to be a commercial, at least a commercial area here, like right next to the airport. And maybe going residential further down this way by the water. Uh, so let's go... Let's get a main road going on here. Let's get a... I don't want a huge road, I don't think. I think I want to go just a four-lane road, like a smaller road. Uh, so this will go... Down this way, maybe. Do I want a big road? I don't know. I think I just want to go like this. Let's just go... Like this. Straight along. And then... I think, even at this point... I think it's going to get, traffic's going to get a little bit lighter, so I'm going to use a smaller road. And I actually want to go under the bridge and connect it over there, because I think that would be a good idea. Possibly. Uh, so if we go underneath, or not, because there's a pillar right there, so if we go around that pillar. Then, so I want to connect to this road here, because this is kind of like, this sort of connects back up to that main road over that side. Uh, so if we go like this, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to destroy your house there. I would... Ideally, like to connect right to that, but we can't really, so that's fine. So that connects through, so now, because at the moment, this whole area can only connect through that side, but now they can also go around this way if they want. Because uh, we're going to have shops and all that kind of stuff over here, it's going to be fairly useful, I think. So, should be quite good. Uh, so what I'll do, let's go get a road up, oh, sorry, up like that. And then, just one, like there. Maybe one there. Don't want to live too close to that, that highway, because that's a pretty busy highway, uh, actually. Like, this highway here. I, I'm still very happy. I'm so I'm so happy with everything on this island. I think this place turned out really good. I'm, re I'm really happy with everything there. Uh, Alright, so that'll go there. Oh, look, there's someone using that. Now, around here, I think we want it to be a little bit more angular. Uh, this is going to be... Okay, we're obviously going to need some sort of exclusion zone around the end of the runway. So let's not build too close to it. Let's go, maybe something like this. And that would be like a road there. So then that, we won't build on this side of the road in this area here. We'll probably just make it a little foresty area because the trees won't be too tall. It'll be lower and that's obviously up on a raised sort of cliff. So that should be fine. Uh, now these will go to that. Oh, okay. Well, turns out planes turn like that right at the end of the runway. So maybe we won't build right there. We'll build up to this point. Uh, and then this can go... Do I want to connect it there too? Maybe. No, I think I want to go... It's a weird area. It really is. But I think if we build like that, it's fairly angular, but I think it'll be okay. Uh, and then we're going to get out some trees, which are not in that category anymore. I forgot they moved them. haven't played this game enough since the, uh, the update where they changed everything. Uh, these are pretty good. So let's go... You know what? No, that doesn't make any sense. We're right by the water. Maybe we should get some... Do you want some palm trees here? No, you know what? I don't, because none of the, none of the rest of our map has palm trees. Uh, so we have, I should probably use the same trees we have. We have like these little oak trees, right? So we're gonna go, okay, well, can you be a little bit more dense than that? <laughs> like more than that as well? Like we're gonna go, in, okay, just, just more, just more trees. How about these ones as well? No. Uh, there we go, just more trees. Yeah, see, that's okay. We'll obviously cut them down right by the runway, but I'm just going to fill in this area for now. And then we'll cut out the little area that we need. So, you know, for example, right by the runway, probably not a good place to have trees. Right next to the airport, probably not a good place either. Maybe a little bit there. And that should be fine. Uh, that will just separate this little commercial area from that. So that should be good. Uh, so this, what I want to do is I want to go... Not that, what am I doing? I want to go districts, and I want this to be... Oh yeah, I guess this can be part of this district, because I think this has the, the high-rise van on it, doesn't it? Policies, smoke detector, 
High rise van. Yeah, cool. So we'll do high density here, but it won't be. I also don't know why we're not making any money at the moment. But I'll, I'll look at that eventually. So we're going to go, you know, high density, but it's not going to be any high rise buildings because they can't. Uh, we'll get some around here. This area here. And obviously we'll build some more roads in that area in a minute. Uh, and I think this area here, because it's quite a nice spot just to get a little park in. Just so you know, have a nice like outdoor area. How big is that? It's a little too big. How about this one? That is perfect. Get that in there. Uh, we're going to get a little pedestrian path straight on through to about there. And that will go straight through to there. No, it won't. I want it to be like that. Nice. Cool. All right. So that'll go there. Now, uh, water. There is no water here. Do we want heating in this area? Nah, they're, they're not going to have heat pipes. They're going to have regular pipes that are just messily laid out. Look how neat those ones are. I started off so well in this area and then it kind of just went from there. Um... Alright, so we have some nice buildings in there, so that will start creating some more stuff. Now, as as far as the budget goes, what, what is going on in the city? I have enough power. I have enough water. I have enough incineration. We have plenty of healthcare. We... Fire hazard is high in some areas. Like, specifically there. And also there. And a lot of little buildings around the place. But you know what? They're fine. <laughs> and the prison as well. But they'll be fine. They'll be fine. Uh, crime rate is pretty low. That's good. Education is decent. It's decent. Uh, as far as us not making any money goes, I'm not quite sure what that... I guess I'm just spending too much on probably transportation and all that. Uh, let's have a look at our budget. So we've got healthcare and power. Actually, you know what? I don't think power needs to be up that high anymore. At least I don't think it does, right? No, we have, yeah, we have enough power. We have enough power as it is, so we don't need to worry about that. Okay, so let's go a little further down this way, because I, I definitely want this to be uh, residential. Probably... You know what? No, I will do it on this road. Because after I think after when we change to this sort of two-lane road instead, it will be, you know, some low-density residential. I'm just going to pause it up here, because I'm going to want to put some more services uh, in the area, because they're not going to have much in the terms of, you know any services over here right now so we'll need to get fire department police uh probably garbage as well maybe i don't know where the closest recycling plant is oh actually we might not this year we'll see anyway we'll do that let's get uh water over this way so i'm gonna go under this road yeah, a little bit there you go and down that way good all right so that's water uh we'll worry about power in a minute so garbage collection is fine uh, healthcare is actually fine too. Fire department, not so great in this area. So I think I'll get one here. Because that will cover actually those guys over there as well. Uh, there is not... Oh, no, that was prison. Never mind. Uh, but police coverage is actually not really anything here. Because we have one over there and then one in the city, right? But that would probably be fine. Like, it kind of just misses this area. I think that would be fine. Because it's just residential. So I think we'll be okay. Uh, we'll get it on the elementary school over here though. Right by the, uh, the old fire department. How about a high school as well? Right about there. Uh, public transport we probably want to do. So I think what we'll get going here is a bus loop. I think is what I'll do. So I think we'll go like from there. The wrong side of the road. From there. And it's going to come down this way. Along this sort of main road area. Maybe up to there. And it's going to come through to these residents. These lovely little residents over here as well. Because uh, this will allow them, all these people, hopefully, to get to the subway station a little bit easier, which was the plan. So I'll put one there, and then this is just going to come back around. No, see, I didn't want to do that. I guess it is going to be a loop. I didn't really want it to be a loop, but I guess I'll do two bus lines instead. Uh, bus line 9. Yeah, that's a good name. Uh, City Bus Depot. I don't know where that is. Is it like, maybe it's that. It might be that. I guess. Um, select types, Mercedes Benz. This is going to be a. It's going to be a orange bus. I don't know what other color buses we have, but uh, I guess it's going to be Route Nine. We'll get two buses on it. That'll probably be enough. And then we're going to get another route going the other way. Pretty much just the opposite. Ideally, I th I didn't want these to be loops. I wanted them to be just a, a single line. But I guess this will work as well if it must. There, because I mean, right now, to be fair, there's not really anyone living here, so it's not a huge deal either. That will go there, and that will go there. Cool. Zero one zero. Look at that. We're even in the zero one zeros now. Yeah, city bus depot. Select bus one two. Uh, we're gonna go bus lines. We're gonna get to this one. 
Oh, we don't even have an orange bush yet. A bush? We don't have an orange bush. That's so good. Okay, can I see? No, I want to see number nine. How do I bring up the menu for it? Go. Oh, I was on number nine. <laughs> Idiot. Uh, all right, grab that. There we go. Number 10. Show me number 10. There it is. It just didn't look like it swapped when I did that. There you go. Good. All right, so we have those two in. Uh, I, I'm just going to assume that that is... Yeah, yeah, it is. There come the buses. Very nice. Some cars coming out of the cargo depot as well. Uh, we should probably put some buildings over here because it looks kind of lame right now. <laughs> like, there's nothing here. I feel like there should be something. Uh, so I think I'll go like this. And then this one can go... Do I want to do a bridge over there? I don't know. I don't know what's going to be down here right now, but... I guess it makes sense to have a bridge. Because we'll probably... Oh, that looks kind of stupid. I guess I should bridge from up here. Um, I guess I can just bridge alongside the uh, the railway. Yeah, it's alright. That'll go over there. Sure, why not? Uh, and then through here, I feel like we should have... Probably a road. And then maybe one there. Just to fill in the area. And then we can get some commercial in here too. Because I'm sure people will like it. More commercial is always good. In theory. There we go. And just up through there. And we'll just fill that area too. Cool. Right, so what do we have in this area? We don't have enough water pipes. We'll get another one there and there. And just one over there. Cool. Alright, so that should uh, that should service the area quite nicely. And they have a little cargo terminal right there. So it's actually really, really handy too. Uh, cool. Alright, so we have a nice little area going on. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot to sort out power for you guys. Oh, you almost have power from your neighbors, but not quite. There you go. Nice. Alright, so that will sort you guys out now. Sorry about that. We still have enough power in the city. We still have enough water. That's all good. Uh, there you go. So they're, they're loving it. I'm just going to assume that they're loving it there. They're loving moving in there. Now, as for a real district in this city where we have canals, because we should totally do that, because we actually have the canals in the game. Maybe if we lower this whole area here of the island. i got some canals around here. It could be kind of cool. Uh, or... I don't know where else we'd do it. Because everywhere else is quite high up, is the problem. I guess we could do it over there. No, it's. I think I think over here is going to be good. Why don't I... Let me just save the game as uh, 26 underscore 1. Yes, I'll overwrite that. That was a failed one before. In case I don't like this, I want to be able to go back and not worry about it. So we want to get this fairly low lying, probably where that tree is. Yeah, that's looking good. So if we bring this down uh, to this, this height here, pretty much all of this area. Like all of that. We'll probably move those and reposition that and make it not look dumb. Uh... Can I edit outside of the map on this? I can. Good. Because I kind of need to use that space. And I'll smooth that out as well. Uh, so I think that will work if we just bring that down. So if we go like this. Let me just move that out of the way. Uh, so if we go path from there to there, I guess. Just like that. There you go. Something like that. So that just slopes down nice and gently. And then we can also just, yeah, just do a little bit of smoothing out there. That'll be good. Maybe just a little bit there to make it look a little bit less, you know, plonked in there. Good. All right. So then we have that area. Now, uh, let me connect that up before I forget because I have already forgotten. So let me just... Let's get this road in, which will just... I don't know. Come down there or something. Ah, we'll figure... We'll make that look better later. Uh, but we'll get this road back in as well. I think this may as well just be a straight on road. And then we can even get some industrial down here or something because it's a pretty stinky looking area. It might also be a good idea to see if we can get a highway connection directly over here. Actually, that's a very good idea. Um, we could either do a highway connection just by having a bridge here. So, because we got this, we got this connection here. We might, we could always just use that or we could try and squish one in. I think I want to use this because it'll probably look a lot better. So why don't we, instead of having a huge road there, because I, I don't think having six lanes there is even necessary, to be honest. Let's go... Ah, uh, see, the prop, the, these bridges don't look nice though. Like, if I use this, it doesn't create any fancy-looking bridge. It just goes flat bridge, nothing special about it. There's no, like, I don't know. I really wish it had, like, some nice support bridges or something like that. But I guess if we use a four-lane 
four lane road at least we get something like the larger four lane road so why don't we use one of these let's figure out where we want the bridge we need to be high enough to go over cargo ships which would be 24 meters is where we want to go so 24 meters from that point there at the bottom of the river so i might actually whoops sorry i might actually just grab that point there and that's sort of the height 24 meters above the height that we have there at the riverbed um so if we go where do i want the bridge to come it needs to be it needs to land up high so i think what i'll do let me move this or not i can put it there there though uh and then let's go terraform that height can i sign off maybe that's, that looks like it's cutting it real close uh which is this height here let's see what this looks like if we go straight across from there okay well if it didn't put a support right where the the uh the boat was uh that would be too low definitely too low because the you can see that the uh, little i don't know antenna thing would get get cut off so let's not go that low let's go up a little bit higher maybe about halfway up this this slope here how about that let's try this one go up a little bit higher about there somewhere and let's drag that across how about that i think that's going to be okay whoa technically would hit it but i'm pretty happy with that <laughs> it technically hits it and gets destroyed but you know what that's fine uh yeah let's do that that's good okay so then this road is gonna go i think once it gets over this side it should be a little bit nicer right uh let's get out some nice short trim palms um I feel like, yeah, they should come down here somewhere. Like that. Uh, and then instead of this being a six-lane road, which I really don't think this needs to be a six-lane road, uh, it should be at least four-lane. And then probably after that, it can go to a smaller four-lane after that intersection there. Um, and then this will just go like this. And then in to there somewhere uh, and then we could fill that in with other stuff because i yeah i don't think we need a huge road there uh okay so if we have this road coming down this way let's figure out where i want to put some canals i'm gonna go super deep let's go super deep now do i want them to be see i guess the question is do i want them to be like do i want them to be curvy or do i want them to i don't know we could we can make them curvy could do something like that or we could leave them right angles i also don't think we really need to go that deep at all uh that's probably too shallow though to be honest do you reckon we should go a little bit lower with the land i think maybe we're up a little too high to be honest i think we should go i think we should go a little bit lower because turns out that i was uh i was wrong we're not low enough like there it's probably where we want to be Maybe even lower than that. If we get like that section there. How about that? At least for some of this area. So just bring all that down. There you go. All through there. Super low lying. Lying. Oh god. And super prone to flooding. There you go. How about that? Oh! The banks are flooding. But that, that should settle down. <laughs> yeah, it was, just, it was just as I moved a little bit of the land. It is, it's settling down. Uh, hopefully that water will uh, actually disappear. Actually, you know what? When I put canals in, it will go in the canals anyway. So that'll be fine. Cool. All right. So let's get in uh, some canals. We'll go We'll go medium because I think any smaller than that might not be any good. Why don't we go? We'll go all the way in to about there somewhere. Uh, and I'm going to go... Maybe like that. I don't know. I'm, I'm just... Right now, just guessing how I want this to go. And how I want it to look. And maybe this one can go up like that or something. See, I wish I could build out there. 
So if that is that all water going to fall into it? Oh, there it goes. Fell right into the canal. What an idiot. What an idiot. You just got caught in me canals. All right, so we have the canals like that. I don't even know if I want that one there. I think I might just get rid of that. Mainly because it's the edge of the map, so it would be kind of hard to work around that anyway. So I think I'll get rid of that bit. Uh, I think we'll just keep it pretty simple. Like, we'll just keep it these sort of right angles. Just like that. Uh, and then we have flood walls. Should I, do, I feel like I should have a flood wall somewhere, right? Maybe just over here. Not build on water. That seems kind of silly that you can't build a flood wall on water. Where else am I going to build a flood wall? Not on water? There. Flood wall. Yay! Can you build on top of that? I feel like you should be able to. It looks like, it looks like you totally build a road on top of that. Oh, If you could build a road on top of that, that'd be cool. That's a nice little wall. Uh, Alright, well, we've got flooding everywhere currently, so... I mean, that's not ideal, but I think it's just the water... Like, it's... Because the water's, like, rushing in. Uh, so... <laughs> Hopefully it settles down. Uh... Because this is all... This should all be sea level, because we've got sea there, sea there, and it should just be sea level. So hopefully that does actually settle down. Otherwise, we're going to have a little bit of an issue there. Okay, so this plainly isn't getting better. Uh... <laughs> uh... Yeah, I made the land a little too low-lying, so that's an issue. Um... I think we'll take it up a notch. BAM! Let's take it up another notch. Okay, so I'm gonna- I'm gonna fix this and I'll- I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I finally think it's at the point where it's actually stabilized. I had to- <laughs> Turns out I should have left the land at the, uh, at the height it originally was. Uh, cause I went way too low. And that's my mistake. Definitely my mistake. But I think it's okay once the water again sort of settles out, cause right now it kind of looks like a bit like jello, cause it's- that's really not flat in the middle. Uh, but once it all settles out and actually levels off, it will be quite nice. That's not- that's pretty good depth, because that means we can have nice little bridges going over it and look still, still look pretty good. I thought it would look kind of cool having one uh, go out that way as well and having this bridge go over it. I don't know. I thought it looked kind of cool just having that little- this sort of separate piece of land sticking out there. Uh, and yeah, so that's kind of what this area is going to look like. And then of course we have to actually build roads on it, but that will be for next time. I'll also take your suggestions and feedback on how we go about that. Uh, and we've got to wait eventually for all this sand to disappear, because that only appeared because it was completely flooded for a long time. So that should go back to normal if I'm not mistaken. But, uh, if it doesn't, it doesn't really matter because it still kind of looks cool. But I think it will- I think it will eventually turn back to grass. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, but yeah, alright. Well, I'm going to leave this part of you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. But I will see you next time. Uh, once again, thanks for watching. And have an awesome day.